All right, we'll do the best we can. Maybe they won't get the nuts. <laughs> Wait, what? I think our opponent thought this hits. Oh my God. Oh, the shame concede. Oh no. Oh, that's someone's first time playing that deck. Reading is fundamental chat. Make sure you read your cards. Cause he sure thought, ooh, five damage on leader. Hey, what's up guys? I got a deck here to showcase for you guys. This deck, like I said, 70% win rate with it. And I like to call it father and son. Of course, the new Thomas Wayne Batman is in the list, of course. And then you have, you know, Bruce Wayne, regular Batman. But overall, this deck has actually been performing pretty well for me when I exclusively made this for ranked. And with the new Blue Beetle cards, it's actually been performing, like I've said, very, very well. So let's take a look. Here is the curve uh, running almost half the deck as bronzes, which honestly has not been a detriment. The nine golds actually it may seem like a problem, it, but it didn't really become a problem too much. Every now and then the games last long to where you're going to actually utilize those gold cards. Now, looking at the cards themselves, uh, the biggest thing I really want to talk about is probably going to be Black Beetle. Um, it seems to me in the games that I've been playing and which I believe is showcased in this game that I'm about to show you as well, Black Beetle might have a bug to where he's not count being counted towards Ladama. Of course, Ladama is a great card to use as a board clear, but there's been some weird interactions with Black Beetle. And if you do happen to have some issues with Black Beetle, you can go ahead and cut him out and probably add in something like and a second uh, Omega Beam or Appetite of Conquest or any of the good late game cars that Tyranny has. Overall, I believe a very good deck. Definitely check out the game and let me know what you guys think as well. Right now, I think it's a very good control. Of course, the Boogeyman of Doomsday and Flash is still out there. And honestly, it doesn't matter what you play. It just depends on what they actually get on their hands whether or not if you're going to end up winning or not so we'll see what changes in the next uh update but for right now i would highly suggest this deck it's very good in the meantime you guys take care and i'll see you next time bye bye for now Ooh, mono green uh we go first mm, bandage so in this regard, I mean, if they open with like Chase Leon and stuff, then it's just like GG, but uh, we gotta go for Satana first. Why? Wait, why would you go for the unit there? It's a two, three. So if I trade it, it's still dead. Uh, the only saving grace... Well, technically, I could go face. Because I do have Batman that could hit it next turn. That is true. And that will punish their... Whatever the decision that was. I'm just surprised they went and hit this and not, like, hit face. It's a 2-3. It's not like I have the means to make it a 2-4. But yeah, um, and not only, and now imbued with, uh, imbued with lightning is something. I mean, honestly, they, green used to be the worst faction. Oh, and arc lightning as well. Green used to be the worst faction and they just buffed the daylights out of it to now it's like so crazy to deal with. But I mean, with any faction, if you just kind of start slowly buffing it over and over. See, look at that. They wasted one damage. And I was, not only did they waste one damage, I was able to gain two damage out of it. Oh, 
what? Not only did you put Chase Leon in the front, you made him, what? I still have a few tricks up my sleeve. Um, Green Lanterns. I think I need to do Tear Gas because if he starts getting a lot of Green Lanterns, we're kind of screwed here. Hmm. Okay. So now how can I attack for four? Fully charged. Alright, so what's going down? Lightning guard. Okay. And then another chase Leon. Oh, he got Chasey on for the ring that chooses? How disgusting is that? Well, this is, this is over with. Ah. Uh. You know, I'd like some of my callings. I, I have them in the deck. Bruh. Calling, massacre. Something that makes Ladama like proc. Calling's the best card for me right now. Come on. I'm just dead. <laughs> it's basically it. I'm just dead. Uh, Ritual sacrifice the Chase Leon. What a high roll. just dead hype <laughs> yeah something like that right i can bring it a little bit down but calling was literally the number one card for me there i've got a lot more than rabbits in this one. it's crazy how chase leon he went from being temple behind to being tempo ahead just from chase leon How do you get the Black Beetle, etc. cards? Are they in the Origin Packs? Uh, you get all of the new uh, Black Beetle cards when you sign up for the subscription. Okay, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. I pay the win pass. Yeah, you pay the $9.99 subscription and you got it. Okay. So we just need bandages to the cows come home. Time to start branching out. Okay. So to activate Ladama, we didn't get Paco at all, did we? Let's take a look. I don't think I played Paco at all this game. Yeah, it was Bluebird that we played. Okay. So we do this. I think we stick to the original plan. Um, <sighs> um <laughs> that's ex exactly what I wanted. All those choices. There you go. I don't get that, by the way. What's the point of giving them out in the track if you just auto get them when you buy the gold upgrade? 
So, what a lot of people haven't noticed, which I did say this a few days ago, um, which is actually a lot of people don't, like I said, notice. The ones on the track are the deluxe versions of the cards. They're not the actual cards. So, all the glowing effects of the cards. So, you get the regular cards, and then if you want the shiny versions of them, the deluxe, they're on the track. But it doesn't surprise me a lot of people didn't notice because you kind of have to look at them and see the corners and such and see that they glow. If Kyle Raynard leaves the battlefield, so not when he's KO'd. So I can actually do this and that should kill it. So let's start with the Batman recruit. No, ooh, this is a tough one. Oh, okay, that makes sense. And thank you for clarifying. Yeah, no problem. Like I said, it's not something that a lot of people notice, but when you name your channel analyze it guess what you do there are some key things that a lot of people don't catch that we can there we go that should kill it um i would love to go after zatanna but am i willing to sacrifice batman this is a tough choice to be perfectly honest I think I need to Mercy. He has four, that's five. We can split the difference and do this. Yeah. This will make it to where that protects Batman and uh, activates Ladama. We play two golds. So from now on, Ladama is ready to go. But Coral Boss, what's going on? Hope you're doing all right. Welcome to the stream. We're just over here chilling out, having some fun, checking out, doing what we do and try to survive at least. I really need to start going after the Satana, but I've been on such a defensive, I haven't really been able to go on the attack. I should though be able to go on an attack soon. And Mercy is not really that good of a card to play because he's able to get so much mount on this turn or resource or whatever you want to call it. Captain Adam. Interesting. Okay. Oh, that's why, okay. He's looking at the vine. I can't believe my top deck was this one. <laughs> Let's go! I still Time to pop off. Tricks on my sleeve. Feel a Ladama nerf coming? I don't know what you're talking about. Blasphemy. How dare you say such words in this court? <laughs> oh, but seriously, uh, it's quite possible. I mean, I guess this doesn't matter to be honest. Um, Explain to me why that didn't die. Hello? What? I played two gold. Omega Beam, and I played uh the Black Beetle. Why didn't this proc? Why didn't it kill it? I've got 
got a lot more than rabbits in this house. She's bugged at the moment? In what way? I've been playing her all night. This is the first time that didn't work. How is she bugged? Is there a certain, uh... What? <sighs> Something with aura, maybe? That's really weird. That's really weird. Wow. Wow. Do you have uh, Giovanni then? Okay, let's go again. I don't understand it. I don't understand it. I might be dead if he has Giovanni, to be perfectly honest. Um, Has he played that many magical spells? I don't think so. But he could have, uh, what's that fire one? Bugs are random, so it happens sometimes. Yeah, maybe that's it because I swear uh, earlier this evening that I straight up played two gold cards. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> that's definitely not good, because that is a... Uh... I still have a few tricks up my sleeve. Maybe it has something to do with Aura, because I will say I haven't been playing a lot of people with aura and yes i know i could have played batman blah 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 but i wanted to double check and make sure what my play was time to start branching out nice nice we have blockers besides that wasn't lethal anyway so all comes down to his top deck oh thank you because that was totally unfair uh thankfully i had blockers to block his you know captain adams and stuff but come on this ain't what you want bitch i'm a fucking phenomenon <laughs>